Hello everybody, I'm the Sonic Hero, and like I said, ow, I just put my tongue. I'm rolling right into the next episode. Mm, ow. I bit the side of it. Oh, that's not fun. Huh. Welcome back, or in my case, here we go again, to The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. We figured out there's something going on here, like something's polluting the brains of these people. And, like, I'm interested to see where this goes. I'm hooked. Like, it not only looks very nice, but I have low standards for looking nice. I think Minecraft with the right texture pack looks nice, so... Oh boy, I have very low standards. But if the game plays well, I'm gonna like it. Like, it's gameplay for me, not the visuals. And, like, some people are visuals. Like, it has to look good or I'm not wasting my time. And it's like, don't play games like that. You miss out on a lot of gems that way. Like, I could have slept on this because it looks too good. Like, look at that. This is Unreal Engine Force power. I mean, just look at that. Mm. But, as I was saying, uh, before I bit my tongue, welcome back to The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, the story-driven game where we are a psychic that I literally just stopped recording uh, uh, less than a minute ago. Maybe about a minute now. But this game is great. It's true. You let you let a house get run down, black mold starts growing everywhere. Rats start infesting the places, building their nests. Disease can happen on rusty nails that used to hold the place together. Tetanus galore. Well, you can name them, but you can't control them. Plus, there have to be survivors to name something. This is a quaint little town. Looks like a little hamlet more, because it's like... Two buildings and a... An outhouse? No, that's not right. Electric station. Hmm. I can't tell, but these look fresh. My question is, where did we come from? Because we started this game on the train tracks. Like, how far have we traveled to find this place? For that matter, why are we out here? What is this? I invoke the boneless one, the one of voids, destroyer of ships, and he who is feared by the winds. Hear me, great minister Focalor. I wish to make a pact with you to confound my enemies and protect my possessions. Use the doors of confusions to confusion to cloud their judgment, seal the path with falsity and guile, and permit only those who discern every true interior to pass. Aglon, Tetragram, Vation. Stimulate, stimulate, stimulamaton, as far as tetragrammaton, Olea, olearam, irian, ascension, existion, ariona, onera, orason. Mazen, Messias, Soter, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Sabbath, Adonai, Teodoro, et te invoco. Amen. Cursed. What is this? Ooh, hello. Huh? 
so that was right. Ouch. So it's all about finding the right path. So walking through. Well, wrong. That was right. That was wrong. Okay, I failed again. Aha! Well, that wasn't right. That's also not right. Yeah, that's not right. Okay, I failed. Well, so... I should probably have checked it out before. That's the one. That's also the one. I like this puzzle solving music. Ouch. Okay, we know where that one goes now. So that was the ramp up. It's not the kitchen. Aha! Aha! So I'm guessing we just have to put the house back together. The correct way. Uh -uh. That was wrong. I failed, I have to try it again. Okay, let's take a peek around the house. Oh. Oh, I see. So it's a dead end otherwise. What's the house look like, though? Doesn't look like much, though. Oh, I take that back. You. Nope, that wasn't it. Okay, I just... Ugh. What? But that was right before. Oh, wait, no, it was wrong before. Aha. Okay. Nope. There's a mirror behind there. That's the one, the mud room. And...
Okay, that's the one. That... Yeah, that's not right. Okay, I lost again. Hmm. The boneless one. That's the one. That's not right. Oh. Okay. Nope. Aha, right. Aha. Ouch. Nope. I failed. So, get cut off here until we put the house back together. That's the ones. You can kind of peek through the the veils and figure out which way is which. Although some of them you cannot. Aha! I'm just going process of elimination here. Ah, I knew it! Yes. I've been here before.
The magician once lived inside an old house and made potions that let him see the future. People from the village came to the magician's house and demanded he share his potions with them. We want to see the future, too, they told him, but the magician said no. People from the village grew angry and burned the magician's house, but the magician knew this would happen. He had already cast a spell on his potion room. The house burned, but the room did not. The people from the valley waited, but the magician never came out. Oh. Blaze reveals moonshine operation by O. Oh, Josephson. Ashland Township volunteer firefighters discovered an apparent moonshine still while battling a blaze in the woods off Old Ogden Road. According to authorities, the still, com the still comprised a po propane stove and a four-gallon stainless steel pot that were used to hold a whiskey mash. Based on the size of the still, Bayfield County Sheriff Hank Schaefel yeah. believes it may be a part of a small operation, though. Even if there could be other stills in the county. Officers on the scene recovered a half gallon of apple pie moonshine and one gallon of unflavored moonshine. Apple cider and cinnamon sticks were found adjacent to the still. So this was the magician. No, wait, that's not right. Saving. Yeah, this house was burned. Oh, lovely. The piece of paper's gone. Did we drink the moonshine? Same house layout. Whispers of the past. Travels is the guy that got his legs cut off by the old man. Like in the game, not like in the ambience.
Jesus, even his mother? Or his sister? I mean, that incantation just disappeared when we were done with it. I mean, it led us straight into the wine cellar. And we had to reconstruct this house? Guessing we could have come in and fa and seen what the house was like, but I went to that place straight up. Ooh, I'd love some water. Nope, thank you. So Ethan was poking around up here. These stairs weren't here before. Were they? Oh, right, I, I came down here. So this is the distillery. I'm taking the sleeves off. The sleeves are coming off! Ah, that's how he concealed the secret room. Looks like a wardrobe. No one would suspect a wardrobe. Duh, that's how no one ever found it till the house fire. I mean, fire for centuries has been regarded as the beginning of life and death. Energy, or creation, incarnate. So, has Ethan been playing with fire? I would truly wonder. Let's check all the rooms. That creaking makes me think there's somebody here, but probably not. Obviously my fire theory was a little... Mm, weird. Probably wrong. But, hang on. If the Vandergriff house was the one in the incantation...
Why was the incantation in there, but it was affecting this house? That's weird, right? Do we go off into the woods never to be found again? Wait a minute. I think we have to follow the tracks. The fresh tire tracks. I mean, they look fresh. Clearly recent, because the wind would have washed away any hint of it by now. So peaceful, but... Something dark is lying underneath the surface. Like all bodies of water, something dark lies underneath, whether that be dirt... It's true. Hmm. Tracks are also up here. These look much fresher. Oh, no, wait. That's just side of the mountain. Why am I going this way? Probably have to. Could have gone two ways. That direction or this direction. I like to I like to go up. Oh, wait. It probably all leads to the same place. Yup, I knew it. How did I note it? Well what's over here? More traps. How am I doing for time? I'll go a little more. It's all chained up. I had to go in here anyway. Again, not like mirror layers. We can't just walk off. Hmm. We solved another another puzzle. I don't know. I kind of like calling them enigmas. It's fun. It's kitschy. Not kitschy, I guess, but I don't know. I just I like calling them a nigga. <sighs> Enigmas. <sighs> Excuse me. I mean, the word puzzle is so overused. Like you could use it for anything. Like, oh, an an adjective. That was a puzzling contraption, or a verb. I am just... 
Yeah, well, you know, puzzled can also be, is, is also an adjective, so I'm absolutely puzzled by this. Yeah, well, I guess that's a verb, because I am being puzzled. I don't know, probably not, but just... Yeah, I guess puzzle is not a verb. It's a noun. This puzzle has like a thousand pieces. Can't use this one. Oh, wait. I can. Switch it. Oh, I guess I don't need to. I get it. I need the light. Hey, we don't have a shadow. I'll take that. Do I have a weapon? I seriously wonder what they mean by the sleeper. What is that? It's, I think that's what we all want to know. Like, whatever had awakened, or had been awakened by Ethan. Oh, excuse me, there was a, oof. That was a stray hair in my nose, I was poking it. My skin is crawling right now. The hell am I going that's so far down? This warning stands, walk no further. This warning stands, our ritual failed. This warning stands, the sea thing gate remains sealed. Excuse you?
Okay. Let's just go back to the, the cart and forget about it. It said stay back, so why wouldn't I stay back? Here we go. Under the road. There a key around here or Why don't we heed the warning of the horrible basement creature? Ugh, reminds me, before I moved out of my mom's house. I'm kidding, I, I live in the attic with my grandma. Oh, I'm a loser. Probably. Upstairs. Eh, garbage. There's no 
of blood on this thing. No blood on the axe. Okay, we're not nearly close enough. So the door was broken by the axe, but the victim was killed with scissors. Yeah, okay, that's another, another bit of information. <laughs> I tell you, after that uh, monster attack, I made oopsies in my pants. I made oopsies in my pants. No, I didn't really. That's gross. But it was funny. It's <laughs> Sorry, that joke's from uh, Lilo and Stitch the series. The baby fire. The baby fire episode. If anybody knows what the hell I'm talking about. I have Disney. We have Disney Plus, so like, I'm rewatching some of the old series. So, like, all the shows I like, most of the shows I liked on Disney Channel are being rewatched, like Disney, Disney XD, all those ones. Like, we even switched the series. It was solid, like really good lessons for children and it's got that oh there's a problem that the hero is complaining about oh the hero learns to overcome it everybody learns a lesson at the end all is good more scissors broken door got it there's four bits In there, outside. Oh, no, what is here? Is this Travis? Hmm. This is all of them, right? There's gotta be one more. Oh, right. I was telling you about Leo and Stitch the series. Um, just, uh, the one episode is called Baby Fire, where there's one of Stitch's cousins, as they call them, another genetic experiment, who turns everybody into babies. They turn the one-eyed noodle thing pleakly into a baby, and he said, I made oopsies in my pants, and again. And it was, fu it was funny. I find myself laughing at so many of those episodes, it's not funny. Or it is funny, I don't know, I don't know. So where did the fire axe come from, though? Well, this is Travis, Ethan's older brother, it looks like. Or his father. I don't know what the Marian age is. This one had to be first. Second. Third. This one was the fourth. And this one had to be the fifth.
My guess is the guy who... So it's like negative emotions, like the unversed in Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Oh my god, that was a good game. It had the command wheel. I like the games with command wheels. I don't know why. Probably because you just have to mindlessly mash the command button without having to think about what it is you're pressing. You can set them up to be combo, combo, combo. Like, I found a really good combo. It was, it was Grav Graviza. No, it was, it was mag, it was Magniga. It was the root strongest magnet ability that pulls all enemies together above you and thunder, thunder, thunder. Well, that was horrifying. Anyway, uh, I was about to say that might that might be their father. Travis is his brother. I'm guessing the accident was in here. Oh, God. She had an accident. What did that do? Still, that was horrible and brutal, and oh my god. Oh, this is open now. So, what did the sleeper do exactly to make them wonder why Ethan awoke it? I don't know, but how am I doing for time? Oh, okay, it's time to end the episode now. Well, that was good. All right, two mysteries down. I mean, we got another chronology in there, but we did figure something out. Like, solve the puzzle. And this is another part of the enigma. My guess is the whole game's going to be the enigma because there's so many moving parts, so... Eh, I don't know if I'm going to keep calling it the Enigma. I just like the, naming the puzzles Enigmas. So all those little little Enigmas that we've fixed or figured out. Like I, I just got mirror layers on the brain. And I want to try and speedrun it, but the world record is like seven minutes. And like, no freaking way can I do that. But, I don't know. I just know that I need to thank you all so much for watching. I'm really enjoying this game so far. I'm gonna stop for tonight because otherwise I won't sleep because oh, oh, it's dark. And I don't like playing scary things in the dark. Of course, I'm just a, a wuss, but I haven't played enough horror games to really get over that, so I'll play more horror games. I will just... I'll play more of this. This is not a horror game. This is more graphic novel. Extremely graphic novel. It's probably going to be... Uh, it's probably going to be age-restricted. But just know that I had a lot of fun making this episode and the episode before it, and I'll have fun making the next episode because I'm hooked on this game. So, thank you very so much for watching. If you like this video, 
I'm glad if you didn't. Okay. That's fair. You didn't like it. Not my call to make. I can't tell you to like it. But, as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!